Hey everybody, it's me, CC Truviak, and after wrapping up production on CC's vinyl closet, I found a couple more gems within Loretta Lynn's vinyl recording history that I just had to include here as bonus material. So strap on in and let's get right to it. First, I discovered a 1976 record released on Loretta Lynn Enterprises called On the Road with Loretta and the Coal Miners. Now, to my discovery, the coal miners were Loretta's touring band, and by the mid-1970s, she'd already become not only a successful recording artist, but a big concert attraction. So this album is a great find, but I'm also going to share that it's a little bit misleading. Just a little bit. I full-on thought that the whole album was going to be Loretta Lynn live from beginning to end, and that prospect excited me immensely. But the actuality of it was, the album is not live. I don't hear a single clap in between any songs. And the other thing that was really misleading is that Lorena Lynn only bookends this album, the first and the last song on the album, which is fine because she sounds great on these. And the coal miners themselves do sound like a mighty fine and cool band. I have to make it clear, it's not really a live album. <clears throat> and the final thing I'd want to say about it is that I listened to it and could not help but think how cool it would have been to be a part of the Coal Miner Band and touring with Loretta Lynn. The album is worth picking up, folks, on the road with Loretta Lynn and the Coal Miners. Next up, another gem that I found. I found this George Jones record called Ladies' Choice, and this is an album of duets that George Jones released on Epic Records in 1984. Now, obviously, I'm familiar with George Jones. And I love all the duets that he did with Tammy Wynette. But this record features duets with all sorts of other great female country artists like Brenda Lee, Janie Fricky, Barbara Mandrell, Lacey J. Dalton, Emmy Lou Harris, and of course, the one and only Loretta Lynn. Now, am I going to say it's the greatest duet album that I've ever heard with George Jones? No. But it is mildly interesting, and my main attraction was just being able to hear the duet between George Jones and Loretta Lynn, two phenomenal country artists of the ages. But really, right now, even in this moment, I can't even remember the song that they sang together. I'm going to have to take a look-see here. Let me just see what it was actually called here. We sure make good love. Well, honey, maybe so, but it wasn't memorable. All in all, even though it's not the greatest album I have within my collection. I'm still happy to have it there. And thank you, George Jones, for making a duet album and featuring two of my favorite Honky Tonk Angels. <clears throat> now, finally, I get to bring up this here album. In 2021, Loretta released Still Woman Enough. And apparently, this is her 46th solo studio album. This one was produced by Loretta's daughter, Patsy Lynn Russell and John Carter Cash, son of Johnny and June Carter Cash. Speaking of June Carter Cash, rest in peace, I've got two of June's later albums in my CD collection, Press On and Wildwood Flower, and I have always loved these albums. They're so pure and fine. Now, this Loretta album reminds me a lot of those two albums in a lot of ways. I'm a fairly sentimental cowboy, folks, so there's something about listening to June Carter Cash or Loretta Lynn, when they sing in these traditional songs, it really kind of reminds me of my own grandma and those old times, the times that we are way long past. And being the sentimental kind of sap that I am, I take a lot of comfort in hearing my elders telling stories and singing songs. So I would recommend that people do check out Still Woman Enough. I'm still woman enough, still got what it takes inside. I know how to live and to survive. <laughs> but basically, the stories in song give that comfort in these crazy times. So I love this record, which includes a mixture of new songs like Still Woman Enough, and it also includes new versions of old songs like Honky Tonk Girl, One's on the Way with Margot Price, and even a recitation of Coal Miner's Daughter. Also, there's a cover of You Ain't Woman Enough to Take My Man with Tanya Tucker, another one of my HTAs. But honestly, for me, the highlight is a song that Loretta does on a traditional song called I Don't Feel at Home Anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me 
from heaven's open door, and I can't be led home in this world anymore. I guess in the end I praise this music because I relate to it so much and it gives me so much darn comfort. So folks, that essentially wraps up my bonus material for Loretta Lynn. I praise you for all of the wonderful music, the rich gold that I will always go back to for that soothing, soothing, soothing comfort. And I encourage you all to subscribe and y'all come back now, you hear?